What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Make. We made it to Nest 2, the sequel, better than the original. And it's time to track down that vaccine. Hopefully it's not too difficult to make. The army or military, the government is getting ready to nuke this place and we need to get the vaccine to them in time. How hard could it be? He says in a horror game. Foreshadowing. That eh, shouldn't be that bad. Gotta say, Capcom's been doing really good in the creepy rundown laboratory department. This just brings me back to the uh, DLC, the Not a Hero DLC from Resident Evil 7. Biohazard! What's up? I thought you were dead. But yeah, every time I see like a busted down lab you know, post-zombie outbreak. It always just looks threatening. Like the red light's going off, everybody's dead, obviously. You don't know which ones are actually going to get up and attack you. This one's no exception. We do get a few more details added in with actually quite a few amazing documents. Pay was generous. Benefits were good. Wasn't worth it. Hindsight's 2020. The world needs to know, but every time I work up the courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately check it out. Working for Umbrella, it's kind of the last place you're ever going to work. There are no other jobs after Umbrella, because if you try to leave, if you say anything, you will die. That's not an if. It's more of a when will you die when you try to leak Umbrella Secrets. I feel bad for a lot of these employees because a lot of them came in with the false sense of security thinking, I'm here to help. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. Then of course you got bigwigs at Umbrella saying, well, we want to create something. We're going to make weapons with this virus. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? Alright, gotta figure this out. Cool. We need to make it ourselves. An antigen and an adjuvant. I doubt I'm pronouncing that correctly, but two pieces to create the vaccine. Easy. But that's just to make the base. Then we actually have to create the vaccine. Producing more than a thousand times the yield of traditional materials. This is not uh this not only makes it an effective vaccine but one that can actually cure zombieism, or more, eradicate the T-virus infecting your system. That's the hope for Raccoon City, is that antidote. Let's go ahead and make it. It's gonna be a little bit before we can make it. We need to explore the nest a little bit. Sorry, the nest 2, the sequel. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key removed. You know, I always thought this section was a lot longer in my first few playthroughs. No, I was just getting lost. This section is very short. We need to make it over there for a part of the vaccine, so we're going to be dealing with some weird science. If your lighting isn't up, you won't see this guy. Please, turn your lighting up for this. I know a lot of you might just be wanting to go for... Ooh, it's mood lighting. Look how dark it is. Look how scary it is. Nah. I mean, yeah, in your spare time. Maybe after you get the Mr. Charlies. This might sound really silly, but this lab in particular reminds me of the Resident Evil films. Maybe it was just because it was the lab and all white, all the Umbrella employees dead. It's just making me think of the movies, and it makes me sad, but at the same time, when I first watched them, I was like, Oh, this is great! And then I actually, you know, got out of my teenage years and realized, that movie was a piece of shit!
the reintroduction of pale heads, and we're actually going to get some extra text explaining what pale heads are like. They are fastly regenerating zombies. If you don't deal enough damage to them, they're going to regenerate their cells and still be a threat. The solution to them is high-powered ammunition. The Magnum, blowing them up with a grenade launcher, shooting them with a lot of shotgun shells. That's your solution. What a shot! I will take that, holy cow! An antigen sample. I'll definitely need this for the vaccine. Oh my god, I just took a look at how many were in there. There weren't many antigens left. That would be a red flag for me if I worked here at Umbrella. Hey, can you give all the employees weapons? We got pale heads, and if they do happen to escape, Please give every employee a magnum so they can defend themselves. Like, what more do you need before you go running away? But then again, Umbrella might find you, hunt you down. Oh my god! Oh, goodbye, Charlie. Final collectible. I should say the final Mr. Charlie. We're done. We don't have to go hunting anymore. Now we can just escape. Is there? Oh yeah, there he is. Hello. <laughs> I mean, he was just examining the wall, Jill. What are you doing? I think it's this one. Ooh, no, this is about Nemesis. Made via helicopter, take extreme care during takeoff and landing. Shock to the parcel might wake it up. I think it was dropped out of the helicopter at the beginning of the game on purpose so that Nemesis would activate and chase after Jill and Brad. That's so cool. Oh, hello. Oop, missed. There we go, didn't miss. See what I mean? You have to hit it in a lot of its weak points, like in the heart, in the head before it goes down, because if you don't, it'll slowly grow back that giant hole I made in its arm and left uh, right side of its chest. Man, I really need to just put some stuff away. But I'm always so cautious. I always want to have at least two healing items just to make sure I don't know what's going to happen. I don't like dying in these games. <laughs> There was a, a meme I was looking at for Resident Evil. It's like, yeah, all data entries for Umbrella employees be like, September 20th, we created a monkey with uh, heightened abilities. Extremely violent, though. September 21st, it escapes. <laughs> and that's exactly what I see in this one here. Which is like, well, it happened. T-Virus escaped. We're all screwed. This is my final note. Arrivederci, Umbrella. And everybody else who works here. Ooh, acid rounds. Those are nice. Acid's good against pretty much everything. Doesn't hurt to shoot acid. Doesn't hurt to shoot acid rounds at enemies. I need to be careful with what I say. And I threw out that gunpowder stupidly. Oh my god. It's alright though. I think we'll be okay. The handgun is running out of time in my arsenal. I think I might stash it next time I'm at an item box. I always want it just to open boxes, because I don't like to carry a knife around. I mean, at this point, zombies go down in one shotgun shot, and the handgun is just to make sure. It's like the double tap. That was a big battery. Hope I never have to do that at least three more times. First aid spray, okay. 
There's quite a few items around here. I'm going to go ahead and move on. We'll create the vaccine base, and then we'll come back for some of these items. But look at this. These are tyrants. Look at them all, Jill. Different flavors of tyrants. All the hunters that are being made in the background. Oh, this is delightful. Seeing them all here lined up, being experimented on one at a time. Jesus, is this where they're made? Big old factory made of reptiles and violent humanoids. This is pretty cool. I like seeing how the meat is made, so to speak, and seeing tyrants here being mass produced. Nonsense, Resident Evil Survivor! Have you seen something like this? <laughs> Oh, they must be making tyrants here! Sure they are. But right here, yeah. Jill has fought a tyrant before. Out of the way. I guess that's also depending on which ending of Resident Evil you got. But I'd like to think both Chris and Jill have experience with fighting tyrants. So seeing them here just probably sends shivers down her spine. Just go, oh, not again. Oh, please no. And the fact that uh, we're actually about to... Oh, my God. We're about to learn what happens when you experiment with a tyrant. Maybe add a special parasite into it. It becomes aggressive, and it becomes a nemesis. Ooh, yay. Yay. I had no idea what I was going to make. I just knew I was making something. I don't really pay attention to that stuff. If it's ammo, I'll make it. I'll take it. Jesus. All right. Shotgun's OP. Love it. Oh, this is the one. Heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues for completing Nemesis, a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapon research. Parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain. External control. Somebody has been controlling Nemesis. But then again. <sighs> yeah, why couldn't you guys create a vaccine for malaria? The common cold, maybe? Instead, you're making viruses? That right there. Mm. An adjuvant sample. These are combined with antigens to increase immune system response. AKA a vaccine, Jill. Jill finding out that what she has been running away from is called Nemesis. There's been a few hints. And I, I guess. Technically, she wouldn't know what this monster's called. Probably just calls it monster because that's pretty much what it is. Having her find out like this right near the end game. It still works. It feels off to me. I, I don't know. I've been thinking about this since I I've been practicing this game and just thinking, so it's called Nemesis. It was like, oh. Well, I guess it is. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. I don't know why this feels off to me. Maybe it's just because of the nonchalantness of finding out what's been chasing you? I do like that they had that text there just saying, Hey, Parasite with a Tyrant, good job, make some money! Now, wouldn't it be crazy if these things just came to life? Son of a bitch! You knew it had to happen. Ain't no way they're going to put you in a hallway filled with hunters and tyrants and not have some of them 
bust out and attack you. What kind of game do you think this is? Nothing to it. I do recall a clip that was taken of my first playthrough of Resident Evil 3 Make where I panicked, I shot a bunch of grenades at hunters, they weren't exactly effective, and I believe I cursed my prophesizing abilities, just thinking, oh my god, I can't stop calling it, and it is actually a detriment. Uh, sometimes I call it too easily. It's a blessing and a curse. I just realized I forgot the red herb that was here. S staring me right in the face. Oops. Okay, now we can move on. And, uh, believe it or not, that's pretty much the entire nest to the sequel better than the original. Yeah, that's it. We just needed to make the base and then we can make the vaccine. There had to have been some cuts made to this lab portion because it is so short compared to some of the other sections. I do enjoy what we got, and there is a bit more. I'm not, like, cutting you off. It's like, hey, we got the vaccine base. All right, we're out of here. There is more to it than that. Just know that you want to double-check everything. This is a point of no return. Getting the vaccine is actually what will turn that square blue. We got everything. We're good. By now... The files you should have for Nest 2, better than the original, are seven. There's a grand total of nine. If you have these seven, you're good to go. Now, I can't believe I'm saying this, but let's solve a friggin' puzzle. Not nearly as obnoxious as the water treatment plant puzzle, but we need to get all three of these numbers into the middle. Oops, did it by accident. Get finding vaccine. Yes. Synthesis complete. Please remove the vaccine canister. We got what they need. Let's stop the destruction of Raccoon City. It's a good thing Jill had her context-sensitive knife, otherwise I would have been screwed. Yep, Nemesis is here. So we need to make our grand escape and hope he doesn't catch us again. He's really good at sneaking up on Jill, I just noticed. Proof of a good hunter. But not a hunter, please no. Just keep going forward and don't let Nemesis dead space you. Nemesis is gone for now. He'll be back almost immediately. He's still on the chase, technically. But at least he leaves us alone for a little bit while we gather ourselves together. Prepare for war, please. Because you're about to go into a little bit of a gauntlet. You're going to want as much as possible to get ready for these upcoming fights. We're coming up to the end. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Disposal Center. 
Facility used a dissolution of uh, disposal used in this. Potent solvents. The acid room. They recreated it for Resident Evil 3 make. Nemesis. We're going to burn you with acid, buddy. And then, you know, regular jargon is like, please don't melt the employees. Well, no, duh. Okay. This is going to be a rough fight. This is going to be a rough couple fights. Oh, next time on Resident Evil 3 Make. The grand finale. After all of that, we're coming up to the end faster than you think. I'm ready. I mean, hopefully I'm ready. Got as much as I can. I'm ready for war. Uh, but first. I know you're all curious what happens if you don't press forward. Well... You get to use your imagination. Ugh. See you guys next time.